Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to write the behavioral VHDL code for A23 encoder using case statements. So we know that an encoder is something uh, which converts uh, 8 to 3 means 8 bits into the 3 bits. So it is basically used to compress the message. So instead of sending 8 bits, we will be able to only send the 3 bits and we can receive the 8 bits at the other side. So there is low requirement of bandwidth in case of the encoded data. So that's why the encoders are used in wireless communication to compress the data and to reduce the use of frequency and bandwidth. So that's about what is meant by encoder and this is the truth table. So it has got 8 inputs D0 to D7 and 3 outputs O1 to O3. Okay, so whenever uh, only one of these inputs will be high that is either D0, D1, D2 up to D7. So uh, depending on that the decimal equivalent of the input number is assigned as the output. So for example first case D0 is high. So D0 means uh, 0 and how I can write in decimal 0, 0 itself. Okay. So binary equivalent for uh, this decimal 0 will be equal to 0, 0, 0. So that's why the output is 0, 0, 0. And in case of the second one D1 is high here. So uh, that is 1 is high. So in case of this one the binary equivalent will be 0, 0, 1. And in case of third uh, D2 is high means 2 is there. So uh, D2 corresponding to 2 the output equivalent for this one is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is uh, this represents 2 in binary form. So like this we can create this truth table similarly up to D7. When D7 is high that is this 7th decimal is high here. So equivalent of 7 we will be writing here. So this is 7 here and this is 6. Okay, so like this we can create a truth table. So as you can see, only one of input will be a high and corresponding to that the output will be decided. So we can compress this data. So whenever this signal comes, we come to know that D0 uh, bit will be high. So whenever this comes, we come to know that D7 will be high and others will be zero. So like this, we can use this encoding scheme in digital communication. So we'll uh, see about that one in later section. So now we'll concentrate on how to write the behavioral VHDL code for this one. So it is simple using case statement we'll be writing. So first we have to uh, define the entity. So we can define like this entity and this is the user defined name. So we can give anything. So I have given E to T. So that is encoder and uh, ease is the standard format so this you can give anything so port we have to define input and output ports so d in i have taken as input so d in in standard logic vector 7 down to 0 and uh, now i have to define the output ports also so uh, this will be input to d7 to up to d0 d7 d in 7 d in 6 d in 5 d in 4 like this it will be up to d in 0 and I have to uh, define the output ports as well so d out out standard logic vector 2 down to 0 means d out 2 d out 1 and d out 0 that is basically instead of o1 o2 o3 I have taken in terms of d in and d out all right so now we will close this entity that is end e to t so it is one part then we have to write the st standard format that is architecture behavioral of E to T. So make sure that you will be using the same name that is when defining the entity and when calling the entities that is E to T and E to T should be same here. So otherwise it will throw an error. Okay. So now we have defined the architecture that is in case of behavioral. Now uh, this for this architectural it will be a begin then process input that is D in then for this one the input uh, that is begin for the process then we have to use the case. So case d in is so in case uh, the value of d in is compared here so case d in is then when d in is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 at that time the output d out will be equal to 0 0 0 and when case d in is 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 at that moment d out will be equal to 0 0 1 so similarly the truth table whole truth table will be taken or written in terms of this case statements here so 
it will every time it will it will be when executing these statements it will be assuming the d in value as these numbers and it will be uh, creating output depending on these numbers so that is like when 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is there at that time the output will be triple one that is one 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 so like this uh, the case statements will be written then end case i have to write then process i have to end then behavioral model i have to end so i have executed these codes guys so they are 100 percent working so you can execute in the xilinx model sim that is any version 3 or 4 so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you thanks for watching